Isn't that that new kid my mom introduced me to at church? Sure is. He's cute. You think everybody's cute? I know, but I think he's cute. <laughs> Oh, he dressed up for the first day of school. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, my God, Rusty, come on, let's go. See his tie? Yes, I, I like it, and tie. I'm going to tell him. That's a nice tie. Rusty. Hey, I mean it. Don't let anyone tell you different. Thanks. Uh, Rusty. And it's Ariel, right? It's Ariel. Ariel. Very good. <laughs> What's up? Hi, What's up? how are you? Good. You guys are my fan favorites. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brought back my youth. Yes. <laughs> Good, man. We love it's it. Like 27 <laughs> years ago, I was in the prime of my life. <laughs> I'm still here, <laughs> no, because no, Footloose was a movie when I was a kid, like, for me, signified it was cool to like girls. It, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, one of the first movies I went to with quote unquote a date. It was cool. It had right. the yeah. dance element. Mm -hmm. Right. It was my generation. I was right. like, okay, now yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> this is life. <laughs> so yeah. what was it like awesome. for you guys to kinda like you know recreate this? Because I mean Footloose has such a hold on a lot of people. Yeah. Now we yeah. get to do it again. Well that's the cool thing is that like there's such there's a generation that's never seen the movie. At all. So yeah. we want those people to feel exactly how you feel, you know, or how you felt when you saw the movie. And I think that, you know, having Craig Brewer, who did feel that way when he first saw it, when he was 13, uh, make it, he, he really kind of brought that for the new generation without taking anything away from the original, so. That's cool, that is a really nice breakdown. But you gotta be honest with me, when you found out that my man Craig was gonna direct this movie, <laughs> Hustle and Flow, <clears throat> Black Snake Moan, like, were you like, what's knew, he gonna do to twist this I up? I knew it was gonna be gritty and sweaty and awesome, <laughs> Which but he surprised, made it cooler. He surprised yeah. me so much with his, his passion to make sure that we did uphold, you know, the heart and soul of the okay. original yeah. film. And he didn't just take it and go way left field, he actually yeah. nurtured it. Good, good, yeah, I like what he did with it, because he stayed center lane, but he put his touches he in He sprinkled it. his yeah. brewery. But you know what I like that he did the best? He threw in some twang in there, which really worked. I love that. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. It took place in Georgia, and we needed to use the culture that the place offered, and, and he, he definitely knows captures the South. The South. Yeah. yeah, he knows it, so. Oh, no, he's the king of the South. Exactly, he is. He is. Not T.I., but Craig Brewer. No, yeah. King of the South. <laughs> Absolutely. King of the South, the real king of the South. <laughs> yeah. He really is. <laughs> so, now, what comes first when you do a movie like this? Do you have to have the dance element down, then you worry about the acting, or you came to the table because of the acting, then you perfect the dance? Well, we're both dancers, but yeah. when Craig Brewer took over, over, that's when I auditioned and that's when she had to re-audition for yeah. Craig because she was attached when it was a musical. He called me right after I booked it and said, look, dude, I know you can dance your butt off, but you booked this because of your acting. Okay. And that gave me the confidence and, yeah. and, and to, to tackle this head first. So well, I think it, they're both important. Yeah, but. and for me, that was why I auditioned twice because once I was already cast and he signed on, it was like, well, I want an actor or an actress. Okay. And so I was like, well, let me show you what I can do. And I fought for it. and. Boot lady. Don't get too crunk out there. First sign of the police, yes, sir. and I'm a pull the plug. I don't want to get a fine, and you don't want to get another ticket. Wait, you got a ticket for dancing? He got two tickets for dancing. Pops, man, let's get it. Come on. Maurice, showtime. It's clear.
put on a show for that guy, doesn't mean I'm gonna. Attention, attention. Aerial Lord, will you please come up to the front of the line? Your dad is here for you. Let's, let's break it down, because this is what the people really want to know. Like, what is your favorite dance? What dance do you do the best? In the film or in life? No, just in, in life. life. Uh, we, we know what you can do in a movie. Yeah, Everybody's no, going to yeah. go check that out, but I'm talking about in life. I just like to move my hips, so that's all that, like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Whatever involves moving in, like, a circular motion, I'm good. <laughs> all right. And, uh, PG. Yeah. <laughs> I got to dance for Timberlake for a while, and that, that style of choreography... The guy's name is Marty Kaduck, who choreographed. That's kind of my thing, my go-to. It's like hip hop, but smooth and and uh, not too street, but definitely a little bit, <laughs> a little mixture of all that. It's all good, man. And of course, the dancing in Footloose is perfect. Twenty-seven years ago, it was cool, but now it's cooler. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bro. <laughs>